Have you ever wondered how self-discipline can actually lead to freedom? In this video, we'll delve into the Stoic philosophy and explore why self-discipline is essential for achieving true personal freedom and success. Before we dive in, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who might benefit from these insights. And here's a challenge for you. As you watch, think about one area of your life where you can apply more self-discipline. Comment below with your thoughts and how you plan to implement this change. Let's start this journey towards greater freedom together. 1. Understanding Self-Discipline in Stoic Philosophy No man is free who is not master of himself. Epictetus Self-discipline is a foundational concept in Stoic philosophy, central to achieving personal freedom and mastery over one's life. According to the Stoics, Self-discipline is the ability to control one's impulses, emotions, and behaviors in alignment with reason and virtue. It is about making deliberate choices based on long-term goals and values rather than succumbing to fleeting desires and external influences. Epictetus's quote highlights the essential link between self-discipline and true freedom. By mastering ourselves, we become free from the tyranny of our immediate impulses and external circumstances. This inner freedom allows us to live according to our values and make choices that lead to a fulfilling and meaningful life. An example of understanding self-discipline and Stoicism can be seen in the life of Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher. Despite the immense power and luxury available to him, Marcus Aurelius practiced self-discipline in his daily life. He adhered to a simple lifestyle, focused on his duties, and consistently acted in accordance with his Stoic principles. His commitment to self-discipline enabled him to govern wisely and maintain inner peace amidst the challenges of ruling an empire. To understand self-discipline in your own life, start by identifying your core values and long-term goals. Reflect on how your daily actions align with these values and goals. Practice mindfulness to become more aware of your impulses and make conscious choices that reflect your true intentions. Reflect on a situation where you lacked self-discipline. How did it impact your goals and values? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. 2. The Paradox of Freedom Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Epictetus The idea that self-discipline leads to freedom may seem paradoxical at first. However, in Stoic philosophy, true freedom is achieved through the disciplined practice of focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. By exercising self-discipline, we free ourselves from the constraints of impulsive desires and external circumstances allowing us to live more authentically and purposefully. Epictetus's quote emphasizes that true freedom is found in mastering our internal world. By disregarding things beyond our control, we reduce unnecessary stress and anxiety, and we can focus our energy on actions that align with our values and goals. This disciplined approach to life leads to a deeper sense of freedom and fulfillment. An example of the paradox of freedom through discipline is the life of Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist. In his book, Man's Search for Meaning, Frankl describes how he maintained a sense of freedom and purpose even in the dire conditions of concentration camps. By focusing on his inner life and finding meaning in his suffering, Frankl exercised self-discipline and discovered a profound sense of freedom that external circumstances could not take away. To experience the paradox of freedom through discipline in your own life, practice focusing on what you can control. Identify areas where you can exercise self-discipline to align your actions with your values and goals. Let go of concerns about things beyond your control and observe how this shift in focus enhances your sense of freedom and well-being. Think of a situation where you felt constrained by external circumstances. How might exercising self-discipline have helped you feel more free? Share your insights in the comments below. 3. 
Breaking free from impulsive desires. If you are pained by external things, it is not they that disturb you, but your own judgment of them, and it is in your power to wipe out that judgment now. Marcus Aurelius Impulsive desires often lead us away from our long-term goals and values, causing unnecessary stress and regret. Stoic philosophy teaches that by exercising self-discipline, we can break free from these impulsive desires and make choices that align with our true intentions. This practice involves recognizing and challenging our judgments and perceptions about external events. Marcus Aurelius' quote highlights the power of our judgments in shaping our experiences. By exercising self-discipline, we can change our perceptions and responses to external events, freeing ourselves from the grip of impulsive desires. This inner control allows us to make deliberate and intentional choices. An example of breaking free from impulsive desires is the life of Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in history. Buffett is known for his disciplined approach to investing and his ability to resist impulsive decisions driven by market fluctuations. By adhering to his investment principles and focusing on long-term value, Buffett has achieved remarkable success and financial freedom. To break free from impulsive desires, practice mindfulness and self-awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts and emotions and challenge any judgments that lead to impulsive behaviors. Develop strategies to manage impulses, such as taking a pause before making decisions, setting clear goals, and reminding yourself of your values and long-term intentions. Reflect on a recent impulse you gave into. How did it affect your goals and values? Share your reflections and strategies for managing impulses in the comments below. 4. Aligning Actions with Values Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. Marcus Aurelius Aligning actions with values is a key aspect of self-discipline in Stoic philosophy. It involves ensuring that our daily behaviors and decisions reflect our core values and principles. By practicing self-discipline, we can consistently act in ways that align with our values, leading to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Marcus Aurelius's quote encourages us to focus on being rather than merely discussing our ideals. By aligning our actions with our values, we embody the principles we aspire to live by. This alignment fosters integrity, authenticity, and inner peace. An example of aligning actions with values is the life of Malala Yousafzai, the youngest Nobel Prize laureate. Despite facing life-threatening dangers, Malala remained steadfast in her commitment to education and women's rights. Her actions consistently reflected her values, even in the face of extreme adversity. Malala's disciplined adherence to her principles has inspired millions and brought significant attention to the importance of education for all. To align your actions with your values, start by clearly defining what matters most to you. Reflect on your daily behaviors and decisions to ensure they align with these values. Practice self-discipline by making intentional choices that reflect your principles, even when it is challenging or inconvenient. What is one core value you strive to live by? How do your daily actions reflect this value? Share your reflections in the comments below and inspire others to align their actions with their values. 5. Developing Resilience and Inner Strength The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius Resilience and inner strength are essential qualities for navigating life's challenges and achieving long-term success. Stoic philosophy teaches that adversity is not something to be avoided, but embraced as an opportunity to build resilience and inner strength. By practicing self-discipline, we can develop the mental toughness needed to overcome obstacles and continue moving forward. Marcus Aurelius's quote, highlights the stoic belief that obstacles can be transformed into opportunities for growth. By viewing challenges as catalysts for action, we can develop resilience and inner strength. 
This mindset allows us to face difficulties with courage and determination, turning setbacks into stepping stones for success. An example of developing resilience and inner strength is the life of Helen Keller. Despite being deaf and blind from a young age, Keller demonstrated remarkable resilience and inner strength. With the help of her teacher, Anne Sullivan, she learned to communicate and went on to become a renowned author, activist, and lecturer. Keller's ability to overcome immense challenges and achieve greatness exemplifies the power of resilience and inner strength. To develop resilience and inner strength, practice embracing challenges and viewing them as opportunities for growth. Cultivate a positive mindset by focusing on what you can learn from each experience. Use self-discipline to stay committed to your goals, even when faced with adversity. By building resilience and inner strength, you can navigate life's challenges with greater ease and confidence. Reflect on a recent challenge you faced. How can you use it as an opportunity to build resilience and inner strength? Share your thoughts and strategies in the comments below. 6. The Role of Self-Control in Achieving Goals First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. Epictetus Self-control is a critical component of self-discipline and plays a pivotal role in achieving our goals. Stoic philosophy teaches that by exercising self-control, we can stay focused on our long-term objectives, and resist the temptation to be sidetracked by short-term gratifications. This discipline enables us to make consistent progress towards our aspirations. Epictetus's quote emphasizes the importance of having a clear vision of what we want to achieve, and then taking deliberate actions to realize that vision. By exercising self-control, we can ensure that our actions are aligned with our goals and values helping us to stay on track and avoid distractions. An example of the role of self-control in achieving goals can be seen in the life of Serena Williams, one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Williams's incredible success on the tennis court is a testament to her extraordinary self-control and discipline. From a young age, she committed herself to rigorous training and strict dietary habits, often sacrificing leisure and comfort to pursue her goal of becoming the best. Her ability to maintain focus and control over her actions, even under immense pressure, has been a key factor in her numerous Grand Slam victories and her lasting legacy in the sport. To enhance self-control in your own life, start by setting clear, specific goals and developing a plan to achieve them. Break your goals down into manageable steps and create a structured routine that supports your objectives. Practice mindfulness and self-awareness to recognize when you are tempted to stray from your path and use strategies such as delaying gratification or implementing self-imposed rules to maintain control over your actions. What is one long-term goal you are currently working towards? How can you practice self-control to stay focused on achieving it? Share your reflections in the comments below and inspire others to cultivate self-control. 7. Overcoming Procrastination and Laziness It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Seneca procrastination and laziness are common obstacles that hinder our progress towards our goals. Stoic philosophy teaches that by practicing self-discipline and focusing on the present moment, we can overcome these tendencies and make the most of our time. Overcoming procrastination requires a deliberate effort to prioritize our tasks and take consistent action. Seneca's quote highlights the importance of making effective use of our time. By recognizing that procrastination and laziness are forms of wasted time, we can motivate ourselves to adopt more productive habits. Stoicism encourages us to live each day with intention and purpose ensuring that our actions contribute to our overall goals and well-being. An example of overcoming procrastination and laziness is seen in the life of Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. Known for his intense work ethic and productivity, 
Musk has achieved remarkable success in multiple industries. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, he consistently prioritizes his tasks and takes action towards his ambitious goals. Musk's ability to overcome procrastination and maintain a relentless focus on his objectives has been instrumental in his achievements. To overcome procrastination and laziness, start by identifying the underlying reasons for these behaviors. Are you avoiding tasks because they seem overwhelming or uninteresting? Break them down into smaller, more manageable steps and tackle them one at a time. Create a daily schedule that prioritizes your most important tasks and set specific deadlines to keep yourself accountable. Use techniques such as the Pomodoro Technique, which involves working in focused intervals followed by short breaks to maintain productivity and momentum. Reflect on a task you have been procrastinating on. How can you break it down and take action today? Share your strategies in the comments below and encourage others to overcome procrastination. 8. Building Habits for Long-Term Success The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius Building habits that support long-term success is a fundamental principle in Stoic philosophy. By developing disciplined routines and positive habits, we can create a solid foundation for achieving our goals and living a fulfilling life. Habits shape our daily actions, and consistent, intentional practices lead to significant progress over time. Marcus Aurelius's quote underscores the importance of our thoughts in shaping our experiences and actions. By cultivating positive, constructive thoughts, we can develop habits that align with our values and aspirations. Stoicism teaches that our habits should reflect our commitment to personal growth and excellence. An example of building habits for long-term success is the life of James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits. Clear's work focuses on the science of habit formation and how small, consistent changes can lead to remarkable results. Through his own experiences and extensive research, Clear has demonstrated how building effective habits can transform our lives. His approach emphasizes the importance of starting with small, manageable changes and gradually building upon them to achieve long-term success. To build habits that support your long-term success, start by identifying the key behaviors that will contribute to your goals. Focus on small, incremental changes that are sustainable and can be easily integrated into your daily routine. Track your progress and celebrate small victories to maintain motivation. Remember that consistency is key and even small steps taken consistently can lead to significant progress over time. What is one habit you want to build to support your long-term success? How can you start small and stay consistent? Share your goals and strategies in the comments below and inspire others to build positive habits. 9. Embracing Challenges and Adversity Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Seneca Embracing challenges and adversity is a central tenet of Stoic philosophy. Stoics believe that facing difficulties head-on and using them as opportunities for growth is essential for developing resilience and inner strength. By practicing self-discipline in the face of adversity, we can transform obstacles into valuable learning experiences. Seneca's quote highlights the idea that challenges and difficulties are necessary for mental and emotional growth. Just as physical exercise strengthens the body, overcoming adversity strengthens the mind. Stoicism encourages us to view challenges as opportunities to practice virtue and develop our character. An example of embracing challenges and adversity is the life of Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb. Edison faced numerous failures and setbacks in his pursuit of creating a functional light bulb reportedly making over 1,000 unsuccessful attempts. Instead of giving up, Edison viewed each failure as a learning opportunity and continued to persevere. His resilience and determination eventually led to the invention of the light bulb, transforming modern life. To embrace challenges and adversity, practice reframing your perspective on difficulties. Instead of viewing them as obstacles, 
see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Cultivate a mindset of curiosity and resilience, and use self-discipline to stay focused on your goals even when faced with setbacks. Reflect on past challenges you have overcome and draw strength from those experiences. Think of a recent challenge you faced. How can you reframe it as an opportunity for growth? Share your reflections and strategies in the comments below and encourage others to embrace adversity. 10. Cultivating a Stoic Mindset for Daily Life He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Marcus Aurelius Cultivating a Stoic mindset for daily life involves consistently practicing the principles of Stoicism in our everyday actions and decisions. By integrating self-discipline, mindfulness, and virtue into our daily routines, we can create a balanced and fulfilling life. A Stoic mindset helps us navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and resilience. Marcus Aurelius's quote emphasizes the importance of inner harmony. When we live in accordance with our values and practice self-discipline, we achieve a sense of inner peace and balance. This harmony extends to our interactions with the world, allowing us to live more authentically and purposefully. An example of cultivating a stoic mindset for daily life is the practice of Admiral James Stockdale, a former prisoner of war and a follower of stoic philosophy. During his seven years of captivity in Vietnam, Stockdale used Stoic principles to maintain his mental and emotional strength. He focused on what he could control, accepted his circumstances, and practiced self-discipline to endure the harsh conditions. Stockdale's Stoic mindset not only helped him survive, but also inspired his fellow prisoners. To cultivate a Stoic mindset for daily life, start by incorporating Stoic practices into your routine. Begin each day with reflection or meditation, focusing on your values and intentions. Practice mindfulness to stay present and aware of your thoughts and actions. Use self-discipline to align your behaviors with your goals and principles. By consistently applying these practices, you can develop a stoic mindset that supports a balanced and fulfilling life. How can you incorporate stoic principles into your daily routine? Share your strategies and experiences in the comments below and inspire others to cultivate a stoic mindset. Self-discipline is more than just a tool for productivity. It is a pathway to true freedom and personal growth. By embracing stoic principles, we can learn to master our impulses, align our actions with our values, and develop the resilience needed to face life's challenges. Whether it's understanding the core tenets of self-discipline, breaking free from impulsive desires, or building habits for long-term success, Stoicism offers timeless wisdom that can transform our lives. Remember, the journey to self-discipline and freedom is ongoing. It requires consistent effort and reflection. The teachings of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca provide invaluable guidance on this path. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from these insights. And don't forget to comment below with your reflections on how you plan to apply self-discipline in your life. Let's continue to support each other on this journey towards greater freedom and success. Thank you for watching.